Hey y'all, so I just got home from church and I just really feel a stirring in my spirit. Today, the minister, he spoke about how God needs us. And the whole time I was just sitting in church and after he prayed towards the end, it was just, I was just getting fired up because he needs us in this world. God needs to use us for his glory. I just want to encourage you guys to just press on to God. You have to press on to him because he needs you. He needs to use you. This world, guys, this world is so far from God, so far from God. Everything that seems good, everything that seems bad, we got to know what's good and what's bad. This culture is so lukewarm. This culture is so wicked. It's far from God. What God calls good, people think it's bad. What God calls sin, people celebrating it. People are embracing it, but we cannot embrace sin. We cannot live in sin. We cannot have lifestyles that are contrary to the word of God. We have to press on to him, guys. So I'm just, God needs you. God needs you. He needs to use you, but you have to, you have to get out of the flesh. You have to get out of the flesh. You can't think like the world. You can't have the mindset of the world. You have to have the mindset of Christ. And that requires you to dive deep in his word. You can't look like the world. And I'm about to... I'm about to say something that many of you may not agree with. You may stop watching this video or stop watching any videos that I have put out. But this needs to be said. Some of you are walking around living these homosexual lifestyles, living in fornication. That's not the will of God for your life. I'm not on here to condemn you or to bash you. I love you. God loves you. No matter what you do in your lifestyle, that is not going to separate his love for you. God is going to love you the same. But what I am just saying is that God needs you. He needs all of you. Everything about you, he needs you. But you cannot look like the world. You cannot look like the world. You can't celebrate what the world celebrates. Even if your family, your family may have. Lord, help me. Help me say this correctly. Some of you are celebrating sin. Celebrating sin because it's your family celebrating sin because it's your close friends and people that that mean a lot to you but if god calls it sin you should not be celebrating it we should not be celebrating what god calls sin he needs you god needs you you can't try to witness to people but celebrate sin how can you do that? It's either you love God or you don't. You love all of him, all of his world, his word, or you don't. You cannot jump back and forth between different opinions. You can't do that. You cannot jump back and forth. You love God or you don't love God. God needs you. He needs all of you. He does not need half of you. He needs all of you because this world is dying. People are dying. We die every, people die every single day. Some people went to sleep last night and they didn't even wake up. And if they did not have a relationship with God, they're not in heaven. They're not in heaven, guys. But that's what I want you to just take away from this video today. God needs you. But you have to separate yourself from this world. 
You have to separate yourself from this world. He needs you. You cannot look like the world. You cannot think like the world. You cannot act like the world. You have to live according to the word of God. So, guys, please, please just give, give up your life. Give up your life. Pick up your cross and follow God. Follow him because he needs you. He needs you. So please, I'm begging you, please let go of the world. Let go of your old self, your lifestyle that does not line up with God. Let go of it and surrender. Surrender to him because he needs us. He needs us to be a light in this dying world. People are dying. I had a lady today, one of my family members tagged me in a Facebook post today about a, a young lady who posted to a group saying that she was having suicidal ideations and how she can't go on no more and she wants to end her life. Guys, people like that, they need the hope of Christ. They need it because they need the hope of Christ. They need it. But if we are looking like the world, if we are dipping our hands in sin and have a, and dipping our other feet in the church, how are we going to have power? People need Christ. They need hope to live for. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop looking like the world we need power we have the power in christ jesus but we can't be living in habitual sin we can't celebrate sin we have to celebrate the word of god and we have to promote and represent christ so please guys please please surrender please let go and please just give your life to Christ if you haven't, because God needs you. He needs you in this world because you are here. He needs you to help promote. He needs you to, to represent him so that others can just wanna, wanna love on God and see that you have the joy in the Lord. God needs you. So please, 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 once again, surrender and give your all to Christ. In Jesus' name.